Bonica chose sweat and iron over skirts and pom-poms, and she's never looked back. Because of the warm weather reaching all the way into November, people have yet to go into their own closets for things like coats, hats, and gloves. But the Open Door Mission is still in need of these winter amenities. Concussions are more than just getting your bell rung. They're now considered a traumatic brain injury. Officials are doing everything they can to make sure the laws reflect the seriousness of this condition. Michelle's played all over the world, and she brings some pretty big goals to UNO's program. For the Omaha News, I'm Kirby Bridges. Yeah, okay, my feet are bleeding. I've got blisters. Not surprising, after 23 miles. I've got this heavy rack on my back. 30 pounds to be exact. My hips are hurting. Not enough to stop Sarah Withers from her 10-hour mission. But in my head, I'm telling myself, oh, my uncle suffered years of his pain. All I'm doing is just walking 23 miles. Veterans and volunteers marched 23 miles to represent the number of veterans who take their own lives every day. Sarah's uncle was one of those veterans. After seeing combat in Vietnam, he succumbed to many years of struggles and drug addiction due to PTSD. He pretty much was done. The VA estimates that nearly 20% of Iraq and Afghanistan veterans screen positive for PTSD, but half the afflicted aren't treated. Many don't know where to seek help, and others aren't open to addressing invisible wounds. If you weren't there, it's no use talking to you. Bob Brown is familiar with the isolating feeling of returning home from combat. No one would ever understand the intensity and the things that you've seen and done. And with each passing day, 23 of these are folded for deaths that could have been prevented. I'll put them in the truck. For the Omaha News, I'm Kirby Bridges. For a lot of people, you know, they, you know, it's hard to wake up in the morning and smile and stuff if you're hungry or you gotta worry about something or your kids. Emerson Jackson brings smiles all over Omaha by playing music. He lets listeners who donate money leave their signature on his guitar. And he says maybe one day he'll donate it back to the Open Door Mission. In his line of work, it's the weather that makes a livelihood possible. He's been lucky with high temperatures this fall, but that's changing as the weather shifts this week. If it's nice outside and my hands are going to get cold, I'll play. But the above average temps haven't all been good. So our donations are really down right now because of the, of the warm weather, but yet our services are up. President and CEO Candace Gregory has seen an 18% rise in shelter services for the year. Because of the warm weather reaching all the way into November, people have yet to go into their own closets for things like coats, hats, and gloves. But the Open Door Mission is still in need of these winter amenities. There are already 40 women and children sleeping on mats on the floor at the Lydia House. And no one is ever turned away, but with this week's Arctic blast, that amount is expected to get even higher. We are very concerned uh, about the cold weather hitting us really quickly and people not thinking about us. Candace implores everyone to do something. But there's something for everyone. You're never really too young or too old to make a difference. For the Omaha News, I'm Kirby Bridges. Michelle's smart. She doesn't sit on the baseline and blast forehands. She doesn't play your typical, typical game of tennis. Her variety's her biggest weapon. She's never gonna give you the same ball twice. It's why at just 18, Michelle Lowe's tennis career has taken her to tournaments throughout the world. Taiwan, Malaysia, Singapore. The freshman from Hong Kong's Australia, international experience brings a new element to UNO's program. China. Um, Canada, U.S. And Thailand, just to name a few. Michelle's the first international student for the women's program. Um, and, you know, she's not going to be the last. So she's paving the way right now. Michelle's played all over the world, and she brings big goals to UNO's program. Michelle, the variety in her tennis also reflects in her career aspirations. When we take off and land, it's a different office every day. After seeing the highest buildings in Hong Kong from a helicopter at age seven, 
Michelle decided she wanted to see more of the world from above. It's just amazing that I could go around the world like what I did when I was 14 years old, traveling around the world to play tennis. One day she'll travel the globe looking down at the clouds. But for now, her time in the Midwest is focused on her degree and elevating tennis at UNO. I just hope that um, I could help the team to win in the NCAA tournament. For the Omaha News, I'm Kirby Bridges. In 2012, there were actually more military suicides than there were deaths in war. While PTSD is seen in staggering numbers of veterans, there's still a need for better resources, both for veterans and for civilians who want to give back to those who fight for freedom. If you or someone you know needs help, please visit the National Center for PTSD website or call the Veterans Crisis Line at 1-800-273-8255. The major campaigns track social media use, social media messages, and social media profiles. UNO's new social media lab has also been tracking social media this election season. Dr. Adam Tima joins us from the lab in the Community Engagement Center on the UNO campus. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Tima.